quick video uh, for those who are thinking or have decided to uh, install the, uh, the tow hitch uh, on their Tesla post delivery. I had mine installed after I got the delivery of Tesla and I just wanted to share a few things, you know, my experience and what the, the things that you probably need to know or I wish I knew uh, before I got my um, toy hitch installed. And I came in for my appointment, which I was there right on time. It was scheduled for nine o'clock. I was there at nine o'clock. I was told that it would take about an hour and a half to two hours, which I, from the beginning, I knew it would probably take a little bit longer. So in total, uh, after it was installed, it did take them about close to maybe three hours to get that installed but because it took me time to uh, point out to the things that was wrong with the car after the installation that it took another hour so in total it took me i was there for about at least four maybe four and a half hours so a few things that i want to point out that happened post installation is so this trim piece right here right it wasn't uh, somewhere here this on this side it wasn't properly seated so it was not flush as you can see it right now because one of the clips was missed so this was sticking out a little bit i i think you know uh, the technicians you know whoever does this work they should i guess inspect it before they finish or before they give it back to the customer uh, but you know in my case i had to point those things out on this side as well but it was somewhere here closer to the rear door again i had to point that out um, i'm glad that this here everything is flush although it does look like on this side it's a little bit like you can see the bumper is sticking out a little bit i mean it's nothing major but uh, again being that it's a new car you want to make sure that once it's installed it's you know everything is back on uh, the way it's supposed to be and just a few things i want to point out when we open the trunk all right so this rubber piece the seal was not properly seated so i had to make sure that it's back in the, in the right place but that wasn't the issue the problem was is when i came back home and i opened the trunk and when i was closing it it would not close and I was like, I was already uh, about to uh, schedule another service. But then after I started closing, I was looking at what could have been the problem. And I found, which I'm gonna show you. So you see how it's closing? All right, but in that case, I had to actually push it to make sure that it's, it actually locks itself. But the issue was right here, this piece so as you can see when it closes this should seat nicely right here and the way mine wasn't is because this piece was like 180 degrees so it was in the reverse and that's why when you close the trunk it wouldn't sit this was actually a little bit higher so that's why there was a little space here and that's why it wouldn't close unless you actually push the trunk and then it would lock itself so what i had to do is i had i needed to make sure to you know position it in the right way just like it's here and then after that it was closing properly uh here also i want to show you just make sure that before you leave the shop that they also update your software right so you go into the the main menu and then when you go into pedals and steering make sure that now you after it's installed you have this the trailer mode uh, they were gonna let me go without this being updated and when i asked them none of them knew about this they needed to do their own research and i'm sure some of you have thought about whether they should get it installed themselves or outside of the tesla shop which obviously is going to be uh, a little bit uh, less expensive um, i did my research it looked like i could have uh, bought the uh, the tow hitch with the uh, the parts required for uh, the electrical installation would probably cost me somewhere around five hundred dollars and obviously i would have installed it myself uh, but the reason i went through tesla is because i wanted to make sure that my software is also updated and as i've showed or will be showing you um that uh, i have that feature the the trailer mode. Me, so it's thirteen hundred dollars plus taxes so it's you know 
like close to 1500 which is i know it's uh, pretty expensive compared to uh, five six hundred dollars if you do it yourself all right so this is it so i hope uh, some of you find this helpful and if any of you have uh, any different experience and would like to share it please comment i would really love to see what other people what experiences they have and um, thank you so much thanks for watching